Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on probability using the binomial distribution on the ClassWiz calculator. We're going to use the binomial distribution feature on the ClassWiz to help us answer this question. Given that x is distributed binomially with an n value of 12 and a p value of 0.4, we've got to find the probability of the following events and the listed there a, B, C, and D. I've also got displayed a diagram of the distribution just to help you see what's going on each time when we're working out the probabilities. So let's start off with the first one. We need to work out the probability that X is less than or equal to four. We're going to access distribution mode for this. So press menu and then either seven or navigate down to distribution. Now there's two distribution modes for binomial. We're going to use the second of these, which is on the second menu first. So if you navigate down and then you want to select one for binomial CD, that's binomial cumulative distribution. This is because we want not only the value of four, but also values that are less than that as well. You've got a choice here whether to input a list of data or if you've got the variables. Now we've got the variables, we've got our N and P value. So we're going to press two at this stage. And then we need to input our x, n, and p into the class whiz. Now our x in this particular example is four. We want to find the probability that x is less than or equal to four, so any figures up to four. And our n value is 12, and our p value is 0 0.4. So once you've inputted those, press equals, and then press equals again just to confirm, and then the calculator will calculate our probability for us. And here we have our probability 0.4382, let's say, to four decimal places or as required. And we can see that shown on the diagram here. That's all the probabilities up to and including four. So let's move on to part B. This time we've got to find the probability that X is less than four. The probability is less than four. That means that it's the same as the probability of X being equal to or less than three. So on the cumulative dif distribution on the class series, what we're going to input is our x value of three, because that will tell us the all the values that are less than four, so three and less. So we just need to press AC, which takes us back to the input screen, and then we're just going to change our x value from four to three, and press equals, and here we have our probability, 0.2253 to four decimal places. You can see on the diagram that we've got all the values that are less than four, i.e. equal to three or less, displayed on the distribution diagram there. For part C, P equals four, we need to change to that other binomial distribution mode. So we need to just come back out of cumulative distribution and we want to select this time the number four from the first menu, binomial PD, binomial probability distribution, if we want to find an individual value. And once again, we've got the variables here, so we're going to press two. And the good thing about this, it's, it's actually retained our values from when we were using the cumulative distribution, which is great. So all we need to do here is just change X back to four. And that will this time find the probability of X equaling four rather than being less than or equal to four. I'm going to keep N and P the same and press equals. And here we have a probability. 0.2128 to four decimal places. And you can see that we've just got four highlighted on the diagram there. Lastly, for part D, we need to work out the probability that X is greater than four. Now, the way that the cumulative distribution for the binomial works is it takes values up to and equal to your input of X. So if we're working with values greater than, we have to do a subtraction to be able to work that out. Now we're going to go back to the binomial cumulative distribution. The probability of X being greater than four is actually the same as the probability of X being five or greater, i.e. if X equals five or equals more than five, it's going to be greater than four. Now we can work out what this is by actually taking our answer from part A when we worked out what the probability of X being less than or equal to four is and subtracting that from one. We know that the sum of probabilities is equal to one. So if we take away the probability of X being equal to four or less, then what we will find is the probability of X equaling five or more. 
So let's just go back into cumulative distribution and just remind ourselves of what the value was for that. And the good thing about going back is that we've got our information here from what we used in the probability distribution. So actually, we just want to keep everything the same here. So just press equals. And that was our answer again from part A. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to store this answer in the calculator's memory. So I'm just going to go into memory A. So just press store and then A. And then the class was will say stored to A. And then just to do my one minus that value, I'm just going to change to calculate mode. So come back into the menu and press one or navigate to calculate. And then we just need to do one minus. And then if you press alpha and then A, that will then use the figure that we just had from the binomial cumulative distribution. And if we press equals, here we have one minus that probability. So this is gonna be the probability of x being equal to five or greater which means it's also the same as being equal to greater than four so there we go 0 0.5618 to four decimal places so there we go how we can use the binomial distribution both binomial distribution features in distribution mode on the casio classwiz to work out various different probabilities when we know the n and p values of a binomial distribution